Yo, what is going on? Now, today, we're talking about, all right, we're talking about you're, you're a cook, you're working in the back of the house or the restaurant, right? But you're transitioning to be on a waiter. For the first time, you're becoming a waiter. You're getting the hell out of that damn smelly kitchen and you're gonna wait some tables because you see how they hustle and they, you see how they be getting tips. So you're over here sweating and, and breaking your back in the in the kitchen, all right? While well, you see all these waiters barely doing anything and then um and making a lot of money, like $200 in one day. You know, something crazy like that. That shit, there's some that have 500, 600, even 800. I seen G's. I seen waiters get G's in one day, all right? It, it's possible, all right? And you're over there in, in the back of the, back of the kitchen, hustling, grinding. I mean, you're, you're in back pain. You're, so you're, you're saying the hell with this. You're getting all cut up. You, you, you got burn marks all over you. You got cut marks, band-aids on you. You, you look like you just went to a battle of war, cuz. <laughs> so you're out of there. You're getting the hell out of there. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So you're transitioning. Boom. First day. Freshly clean, shaved, right? You're dressed up in the uniform. You're ready to go. Kind of nervous, but you know what? In the back of your head, you're like, shit, I know what the food is. I cook the food. So you got to go with that mindset. So you walk in. So it's a little nervous, your first table, you know? You're the first table. So you go there, uh, you introduce yourself, boom, 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 and it's easy. It's easy. You're like, oh, okay. So... They wanted some drinks. Okay, boom. Uh, boom, you come back, you give them... Some some places have bread that you put to the table and stuff like that. But you know what? It, you always go there with a pitcher. You always refill them up, you know? And, and then your first time, you're walking back in that kitchen. So you're walking back in that kitchen. And the first look... You see all your friends like, oh, help. sweating, bullets, just in covered. And, oh, man, they're going crazy. Tickets running out, going crazy, running around. You, you're relaxing because you got just three tables. You got three tables so far, but it uh, it is jam-packed over there. They're going nuts. They, they, you try to say, hey, can I get? No, 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 no. You, you can't even get a, a side of ranch. They're going nuts. And then you're like, yo, <laughs> I do not miss that shit for nothing, cuz. So you go over there, you write up the, t uh, the um, you print out the, um, the order and shit. You go over there and then you talk to them and then and it's so different. It's so different, like looking at them and talking to them like, hey, give me a side of ranch. You know what I mean? Like, uh, oh, you know how to make it. Well, you do it yourself. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> they try to treat you like that. You're like, uh-uh. Those days are over, buddy. I can't go back there. <laughs> so you, you, you got to do my order. Hell no. Nah. It, it's crazy. It's, it's funny. I even, um, uh, I used to even mess with for uh, just, just, I even used, look, check this out. I used to be sneaky. There was like, there was these couple of cooks that I did not like when I used to work with. So what I did was when I became a waiter, I used to mess with them. I was like, oh, give me a side of ranch, right? We're ruining their busy. Oh, a side of ketchup. Oh, give me this. <laughs> oh, this, this, this uh, steak was undercooked. Uh, redo it. Yo, just, just to fuck with them. Just to mess with them. You know what I mean? But yeah. But I tell you what, that transition and you're getting out of that kitchen and then... So your first day, let's say you made... Hell, you made a hundred bucks. You're like, wow, I made a hundred bucks. I'm relaxed and I got to go home early. I'm not in pain, but I am hungry. That's the problem. When you're a waiter, for some reason, you're so hungry. You're dealing with food and then you're going to a kitchen and then you're missing that food. See, when you're a cook, you're with the, you have that food. So you're just like, you get tired of it. But damn, 
when you're a waiter, you just look at food. You're like, oh man, just give me anything, a piece of bread or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? You go crazy. But uh, but it, it's cool. It's cool being a waiter. I mean, you, you could hustle and you could grind it out. You could grind it out. I say it's a lot better than uh, than being a cook. Or being a dishwasher, or being anything in the back of that, whatever in back of that kitchen stays in back of there. Just give me the food so I can give it to these, this table. And you get to go home early, and then you're you go home that day, and you're like, ah, oh, so relaxed. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, no more neck pain, back pain. That's just gone. You barely even broke a sweat. You know. There's times where it will get real busy and, and people, you know, mess up the orders and stuff like that. But And it's a gamble. It is risky. There's some days you can get 40 bucks. There's some days you can get 100. But, you know, you're working at a, as a cook. On the slow season, they cut your hours. As a waiter, sure, you can just get another job. You can be a waiter at, a, at three different restaurants, you know. And it's not the same as being a cook. Because you could actually balance those. Actually, that would be a good idea. You can have a daytime and a nighttime job, right? At two, at two different restaurants. Being a waitress or a waiter. Yeah. yeah that's not a bad idea. You, you can hustle and grind. Like, have like you know what I would do? If you're living in Florida or California or anywhere that has a beach, <laughs> for that matter, all right, in the mornings, you work... Uh, at the beach, and then at nighttime, you work in the city. There you go. Hustle and grind and make that paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. But that job, for me, it's not for me. I I, I, I retired. I threw up the, the white flag there. But, uh, but it's not a bad gig. Don't get me wrong. You know, if, if I was to work at a restaurant, I would do, a, I'll be a waiter before it ever stepped in foot in that kitchen. But nah. <laughs> nah. Uh, but yeah. Oh man, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you the best part. The people, the waiters and the waitresses that you're gonna meet and you're gonna work with, it's gonna be the best people you ever meet. And some are the worst, but <laughs> but you can't win them all, you know what I mean? But uh yeah. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Dolly.